everybody, welcome to The Deep today and to Dylan's Discovery Corner. My name is Lindsay and this is Johnny. Hello. Hello there and we're here to introduce to you some animals found along the UK coastlines. So if you're ever wanting to visit the, the beach during the summer months, these may be some of the animals that you will see out along our coastlines. So now we're going to look at one of our starfish. So this one here is our spiny starfish that Johnny now has in his hand. So here we have a starfish which has very strangely five arms all together. So that gives it that characteristic star-like shape that we're used to. So typically the five arms of a starfish have something very unique at the end of each arm. So this creature at the very tip, if you look very closely, will have a small purple dot or a speck. So these are effectively eye spots. So these parts of this animal is very sensitive and these are able to detect changes in light. So typically during the daytime when it's nice and sunny, these animals, should a shadow pass by of something potentially quite scary and threatening, this will encourage a reaction in the starfish. So they can do many different things. They can either crawl away if they want to using their tube feet but as I say these are very delicate things and they're also very slow creatures as well so typically these animals will choose to stick down really well they're almost welded to the rock sometimes making handling quite tricky uh, under certain circumstances also in here we have one of our strangest creatures we have a sea urchin this one is a common sea urchin also known as the edible sea urchin so the word urchin gets translated into hedgehog so these are effectively our sea hedgehogs and you can tell that from these spines that they have all across the tops of their bodies. So this shell that they have is known as a test and they have these very delicate spines as a form of defense. So the starf starfish that we've seen is a relative of the sea urchin. So these two animals are very similar in many different ways. And one of those is again, those delicate tube feet that they have. So these are the jelly-like spaghettis that come out between the bristles. So you can see them floating around in many different directions. So this movement of the tube feet indicates a very healthy, happy sea urchin. So the sea urchin itself is amazing in these habitat spaces. These animals are grazers, so they eat lots and lots of plants. So in our coastlines, you do get the growth of plant material on the tops of the rocks. So if this was left to grow, you would end up with a smothered habitat space. So what these animals do, they move along the bottom of the seabed using their plates in their mouths to scrape off all of this plant material from those rocks. So therefore, these animals are sometimes known as the lawnmowers of the sea. So they keep it nice and healthy, keeping that habitat going long term, meaning that they have a fantastic ecological role within their habitat space. So in here, in Dylan's Discovery Corner, we have many different animals that are found along our coastlines. If you're interested to come and see these animals up close and personal with us here at The Deep, please come and join us when we reopen at Dylan's Discovery Corner here at The Deep. Liking the sea urchin. Was holding onto my hand a fair bit. I see. Things like the starfish just don't want to move. Will it go through the buttonhole? <laughs> so sometimes they take a little bit of coaxing to come off, so Johnny's going to tickle them a little bit to bring them off for you today. Don't they don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to play today. Hey. Please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>